Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to Boardwalk Hall in the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. He's really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. Butterbean's got his eye on the prize. He has complete focus on his ring walk here. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Big shot up top. He really got to him there. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Butterbean's the target of a hook. Now a well-placed hook to the head. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Two guys with bad intentions now facing each other here. You know, the old timers would say it's harder to miss these guys than it is to hit them. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Teddy, you think this is the kind of matchup where we're going to see a lot of movement? Yeah, I think you will. Especially if the faster fighter gets his way, he's going to want to go take a stroll in the park a little bit, Joe, and make sure that the low-endurance fighter is going to have to do some extra pacing. Oh, what an uppercut. Come on, nice work, great technique, the combo lands. Solid left hand to the head. Rock'em, sock'em, robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Other, the exchange was something special. Come on, Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Butterbean's able to land a good, solid left hand. Well up top. Right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation. Look at that. Late goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three. Stand 
and he catches a lucky break. Saved by the bell here at the end of the round, Teddy. Yeah, right away you're thinking, you know, where do I spend my time right now? You want to tell him things that can help him, but he is really groggy right now, so you got to get him clear-minded first. Block. Plus shot, the left hand came in. Butterbean's once again the target of a hook. I like this, he's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Gets rid of that body shot. Good left hand able to land. And he just holds on there. Good way to protect the midsection. Solid hook. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Lands a big hook. Accuracy with that uppercut. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Right to the head with that right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. He is damaged badly there. Big shot. How about that? goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, three, four, five. Butterbean's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Able to get rid of that one. He scores with the left. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Wow, what an uppercut. There's the hook. Able to get away from the ropes. Nice work with the left hand. Butterbean's defense is paying off now. All right, how you doing? Grace? He's trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pits. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick. And then get back into the flow. There's a nice left hand able to get in. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough. Oh! Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A knockout, unable to beat the count of 10. For the official word, let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way of knockouts, your winner, It may have been...